Hi everyone, my name is Sun Chiu, and today I really would like to share you the three things I wish I learned earlier in finding my passion. I believe that many people are looking for their passion and I'm in a journey of that before and maybe still in the journey of finding my passion. So I would like to share three things that works for me in finding my passion. First thing is to keep exploring things. I used to be a shy and timid person that I'm not able to step out of my comfort zone. But in order to keep exploring things, you may need to find somebody who will help you to accompany you to the new trial of your life. For example, if I didn't have a good friend of mine to bring me to my cooking school, I would never know that I would enjoy cooking so much that I couldn't stop doing it every day. Second, I hope I was honest with myself. Why? Because I used to be the person that I'm really afraid of being hated or being disliked. So I try to conform myself to others, to others' opinion, and I buried my inner voice away, which I in turn is completely destroying myself. For the experience, I can tell you to be honest with myself and that really helped me to be here is that I used to enroll in medical school before. But before I started my semester, a kind professor, she saw that I may have some problem with study medicine in the future. So she invited me to have a hospital tour for five days and five nights. And that is the five days and five nights that changed my life forever. Because at first, I'm about to go into the medical school because my parents told me so and they encouraged me to have a stable life, to have a good job, to have an honorable job as being a doctor. But at that time, I didn't listen to my inner voice, so I just followed their advice. After five days and five nights, the professor asked me again, are you enjoying the hospital? And my reply is, no, I'm not. <laughs> and the next day, I just resigned. And that's why I am here today. If I enroll to that medical school, I won't be here today. I can tell you. Thirdly, is to take time to reflect your feelings and thoughts. Exploring things may not reflect your feelings and your thoughts right away. So I recommend you to take some time to ask yourself a simple question. Am I enjoying this? Will I be able to do it in long term? These two questions are very easy. Back to the medical school story. At the end of the fourth day, the professor asked me to write a report on what am I feeling about or what am I thinking about the program of the hospital tour. That's the time I can reflect on everything that happens. I feel that I may not be able to continue walking on this path. I can't thank her enough for what she has done for me and made me realizing that medical school is not my way. For anyone who is finding your passion, passion is a feeling so it may come and go. It's just our feeling but you cannot feel it if you not keep exploring, if you not be honest with yourself. You should take some time to reflect on your thoughts and your feeling. That's how I can find my passion of like loving cooking and baking so much. If you tried and you haven't found one, don't worry. Don't push yourself. Be kind with yourself but don't give up. I believe you will find one.